Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and today I thought I would answer a few questions that people have been asking me about my Golden Gap 26-point rating system. I know 26 points sounds like a lot of things, but actually, if I could come up with 126 points and I'd never have a losing trade, I would do it. So the idea is to find something that has high odds. I feel that if I rate a gap and it rates 20 points or more per my 26-point system, that has really, really high odds. Again, trading is about taking calculated risk. Nothing is 100%. That's why we have to size ourselves according to the size of our cash account when we're taking a trade or put in a stop. But again, getting back to the 26 points, I don't get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and take six and a half hours to rate gaps. I get up at normal time. I make a small watch list because I can immediately say no to lots of things that I know aren't going to get the rating or even close to it. So I don't even bother with those things. So I make a small watch list of things that I rate each and every morning. And of course, I look at the market. And when I mean the market, I mean the QQQs, the SPY, or the diamonds. But it's mostly the SPY and the Qs that I follow. Anyways, getting back to the time it takes, it's five, 10 minutes if you want to take your time per gap rating. If you're new, it may take a little bit longer. For me, I could do it like that because I've been doing this for so long. But the fact is I take my time. I do not like to rush. Uh, the process of analyzing everything should not be rushed. So I'd like to get up early and take my time doing it. Now the trading room opens at 8.30 Eastern time. However, that being said, I usually, you know, I'm done rating things by about nine o'clock, okay? So again, half an hour maybe for the ratings. It would take you on any given day, if it's a busy day, maybe an hour. It shouldn't take you hours and hours and hours to rate things even on busy mornings. Because again, it's the process that you're doing where you're not rating thousands of things. You're making a small watch list and rating those things. So again, it's the idea of finding something that rates hot. And that's what I'm looking for. If I find that, then I feel like I'm going to watch the trade to take the trade in the setup when I see it into the open. Between 9.30 and 10 a.m. is usually when I'm looking to get in the trades and get out of the trades. And again, I'm talking about day trading. As far as options, I rate the gap for the options too, but I'm usually doing the weekly options. But again, it has to do with the rating. Everything has to do with the rating. I want a high, high rating. If I don't have a high rating, then I don't want to do it at all. And I feel it is low odds. Remember, this is about high odds and low odds when you're trading. Because again, the idea is to take good trades. The idea is not to do a crap shoot. Nothing should be a 50-50 for anybody. Again, the idea is to believe that the trade is going to work. What's going to tell you that is a high probability of working? If you don't have a system to figure that out, then what are you basing that off of? Because somebody said it on TV because it because the fundamentals said something. Again, what's happening in a stock is based on the price action that's happening immediate right now. The fundamentals may be good, but the stock may fall or vice versa. So looking at all those things, again, takes so much time and it's not 100% or even high probability because things very often react in a way that you don't expect. What is important is how it is reacting in live time, which is why I'm reading the price. Everything I do is based on technical analysis. What is technical analysis? Technical analysis is looking at past price data to predict future price data, and that is exactly what I do. I do not predict the gap. I wait for the gap to happen, and then I rate that gap and predict where the stop will go in the live day or after that based on the price of the gap. And again, based on the rating system that I created. Now, I sometimes can get a feel for something which is intuitive that I think it's going to gap in a certain direction, but thinking or a trading on intuition is not what we do that is not system-based. But I will tell you that sometimes I've said things in the room, and I know sometimes people are like, oh my God, it went in the way she thought. That doesn't mean we're taking a trade ahead of time into the earnings or anything else like that, thinking it's going to go there. It's the idea of waiting for it to happen and using a concrete system, which is what I developed over the course of about three years. So again, my intuition helps me. It helps me to trade. It helps me to read the market. It helps me to see when to hold something longer or maybe to get out early or looking for a bigger target or something like that. And very often I do have a feel for something and then I end up being right. But it doesn't mean we're taking trades based on that. Trades are based on not feeling. Trades are based on a system. And that is something that I think a lot of people don't do. People, again, are not using systems to trade. They're not using strategies to trade. They're not using anything based on calculated risk to trade. They may be setting their risk, and they think that that is using calculated risk because they set their risk, and they set their risk per trade for that, or they kill it at a certain percentage or put a stop in. But that's not calculated risk as to whether or not the trade is going to actually be profitable or work. You understand what I mean? It's the idea of saying, wait a minute, this is a high odds. And again, if I don't see something that's a high odds, and I don't trade anything at all that day. 
So I'm looking forward to earnings season because it's going to be a busy, busy, busy time. And a few days, it starts Wednesday as the start of earnings season. There's going to be a lot of trades and a lot of things to do. If you're interested in joining me and want to learn more information and take the class and learn my system, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.